What is up you guys? Nick here with another video. Today I am going to show you something pretty cool. I have figured out how to unlock unlimited wireless hotspot on your Sprint Galaxy Note 9 running Android Pi. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you that I am indeed running Android version 9 Pi. And this is not just some screenshot. I can swipe around and do stuff. The only reason I'm not going back out into my settings is because I don't want to give all of you my phone number. But you'll see here if I swipe down and I try and enable wireless hotspot, it says hotspot error. You have not subscribed to the hotspot service. But Nick, you say you know how to unlock wireless hotspot. How, do you, how did you even ever get it blocked? Well, I'll tell you, kind viewer. When you update to Android Pi um, and you already have the hotspot mod enabled, it actually will keep working for you until you update your profile or your PRL. And when you update either of those, it will overwrite your current APN settings with Sprint's default settings, which gets rid of the hotspot. And then Sprint has broken the ability, including broken my app, Open It, which is still on the Play Store, but is useless if you're on Pi. So if you hit step three, open LTE settings, it doesn't work. And if you have Shortcut Master, and I have the Pro version here, and you try and open that LTE functionality test, that doesn't work either. So what you can do instead is go into your settings, go to connections, look at mobile networks, access point names, and you'll see by default you have this APN2 LTE EHRPD internet. And if you open that up, all the settings are grayed out. And that pound pound 27263 pound does not work. None of those settings work, and you can see here under APN type, we have default, MMS, XCAP, and SUPL. And ordinarily, this is where we would add our comma DUN, but it's not available to modify. So what I have done, and this is probably the dumbest thing I've ever seen Sprint do, is I've gone in and I've created a second access point, and I've taken, you can see, I just, the name doesn't matter so much, but this these little pieces matter, this x.ispsn, um, these proxy settings were never set, and then this MMSC, you just copy all this information straight from this original Sprint APN, uh, access point name, and you copy literally all of it into a new APN, which is fully editable by you, and if you scroll down to APN type, once you input this information, you can go ahead and add this comma DUN to the end of it, click OK, click Save, and then choose this as your active APN. And now watch this, this is crazy. Tap hotspot, no warning pops up, hotspot is activated, devices are allowed to connect. I've connected multiple devices already and it works perfectly fine. So again, all you have to do is go into settings, connections, which conveniently is right at the top, mobile networks, access point names, and then you can switch back and forth easily. You can look in here, tap back, go over here, input some of the data, go back, look over here, copy some more of the data, go back over here, and change it. And you just put in this APN, all these APN settings, click save, and you're done. Make sure you put in all the settings exactly right, because if you don't, then it's just not going to work for you. Um, and if it doesn't work for you, go back and check the settings. And make sure when you put in this comma done, that it's not comma space done. It's just comma D-U-N, and there's no space or anything else after that. And it works immediately. You don't even have to reboot your phone. So that's it. Leave a thumbs up if this video helped you. Comment down below if you have any questions. And please consider subscribing so you can get the most up-to-date versions of this video. Um, I continued ma or I considered making an app for this, but since it's just built into the settings, I thought that was kind of a waste of my time and probably yours. So if you want to support me, you can go back and download that open IT app that I created and is available in a previous video. I'll even put a link in the description of this video. But other than that, just leave a thumbs up and let me know if this worked for you. And feel free to test it on other devices. It's not going to break anything. If you do test it and it doesn't work, just select a different APN, the default one, and it's pretty easy to get back to normal. So that is it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.